I've delayed working on the clay for a couple of days because I'm trying to figure out exactly what, what I want the Indian to be wearing, uh, what I want him to be carrying, and stuff like that. And I haven't figured that out yet, so I'm delaying putting it all together. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to put together uh, these uh, true form armatures. This is the 18 inch figure. Uh, it comes with no, uh, well, I'll show you in a second. I'm going to get the thing out of the styrofoam or the uh, the bubble wrap here. The 18 inch uh, figure doesn't come with bones on the arms. The arms are bent uh, where they should be for the elbow and stuff like that. Uh, the wrist would be about right there uh, because you line it up with the uh, pubic bone and that's where the wrist would be. Uh, you got the feet and stuff like that. Everything comes apart. Uh, well, you can take the uh, rib cage off and work on the upper part or, or adjust the, the height of your uh, rib cage so you can actually lengthen the uh, waist from the waist to the rib cage. You can take the head off and uh, work on it separate. Um, the legs come off as well. I'm not going to take them off. They come off at the knee and uh, the feet come off too. There's no, no uh, wire in between here and here. That's uh, pure uh, resin and if you bend it wrong the resin will break so be careful when you bend it. You always want to put your hand, your thumb behind where you're going to bend and then just put the pressure on the area where the uh, wire is and then bend. You would never want to bend from down here because it will break the uh, leg bone. So I'm going to, and it looks like they got a new way of, uh, new system for mounting these. Let me get this out of the uh, bubble wrap and uh, I'll show you. Okay. The long one goes down into uh, the base. They, they supply the base and the uh, flange that you uh, put the uh, main support in and it's got a nice little bolt there where you can uh, adjust it and uh, that is really nice. I like that. Now you can adjust the uh, length out from the uh, armature with this and you can adjust the height of uh, your support for the armature uh, with, by just undoing the bolts here and moving it up and stuff like that and I'm just going to bring this one now if you're worried about these things breaking uh, their uh, hold. You can always go to the hardware store and get uh, lock nuts to put between the uh, the uh, nut and the actual armature and that will lock it down real good too. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to mount this thing. I don't have my wrenches here. They're all at the studio so I can't uh, tighten this properly. There's a slot in the uh, armature uh, where you slide the uh, I'll take the upper rib cage off so you can see it better where you slide it in like that and you attach or put the uh, bolt or the nut onto the uh, threaded end of that so once you uh, have that attached and I'll go ahead and put this back on I took it off so you can see it better and you got your figure all uh, mounted and uh, you can position uh, him any way you want or her any way you want uh, and uh, you can lower it and, and, and uh, raise it if you want to depending on what exactly you want to, to do for the base. Now, if you need to have it real high you can actually put blocks of wood 
or a 2x4 underneath the two, two, two before is underneath this and raise it up as well by just unbolting the uh, flange at the bottom on the board and raising that up. Now I'm going to show you the uh, 36 or the uh, what is this size? This looks like a 36 incher right here. I'll show you the 36 inch one now. Now this is the uh, 36 inch figure. I'm going to slip him into that same slot that they cut into the one for the smaller one. And uh, put the basin nut, that's the name of that kind of nut, onto the uh, post that goes into his back. And that locks him in place. Okay, that's the 36 inch figure. and. Uh, armature system and I just thought you'd like to see that again mm -hmm. even though this is thicker uh, resin never ever bend it in from down here and here bend it here and here and uh, it, it'll work you can bend it by going up like that uh, there's all kinds of th positions you can put these in just do it real slow don't ever get uh, excited and do it quickly because um, things break when you do things quickly. You can change the position of the arm and unlike the uh, small version the arm actually can come off and you can work on the arm separately or the lower part of the arm separately or the hand separately. So all these things uh, come apart and again the head comes off as well if I can just find the, there we go. But uh, these are great armatures. I just, I really love it. And you can, again, you can adjust the, the height of his rib cage if you want to give the figure a longer uh, torso. Um, Laura Payne, who's a one hell of a sculptor. I mean, he creates uh, monumental pieces and things like that. He's done a lot of research into the exact anatomical measurements of everything uh, and he's the one that came up with this system and the way I came in contact with him was through an artist friend of mine uh, Deward Campbell out of Lubbock Texas and uh, Deward's a just an incredible painter himself. I think this one is scaled to the uh, horse armatures that he put out um, but anyway I, I'm, I'm not certain because I don't have the web page in front of me so I can't tell you but uh, these are really well done. They're all proportional. You don't have to worry about uh, checking your proportions all the time. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'll be back on the clay tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I'm still trying to, like I said, come up with an idea for the, uh, what I'm going to have the Indian wearing and what he's doing. So if you, if you like uh, my videos, please do me the honor of uh, clicking like, the like button. Everybody asks people to do that. I'm not certain what that has to, what YouTube does with it, but uh, I I would like to take advantage of everybody uh, pressing that like button if you like the videos. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow.